Good morning, everyone. I'm Rabbit, and welcome to my playthrough of Wild Arms. It is Friday, the 20th of December, and oh my gosh, guys, can you believe that Christmas is almost here? It is absolutely insane when I realize how fast this month went by. And to tell you the truth, the whole month of November kind of blasted by quickly for me as well, so I'm still in a bit of a state of shock. I can't believe we are almost done with 2013. Oh, that's absolutely crazy. So, anyway, I'm going to be trying to get quite a bit recorded for you guys today because my husband and I are going out of town for about six or seven days. So, after today's recording session, I would guess that I won't be able to get anything new up for you guys until about the 28th or the 29th. So, I know that's a little bit inconvenient, especially for those of you who are following this game and this LP and you're really enjoying it, I'm so sorry, but um, I don't want to like pack up all of my stuff and bring it with us since we are only going to be gone for a little under a week anyway. So I apologize for that inconvenience, but hopefully you guys will be busy with your own holiday cheer and merriment. I know my family never really celebrated holidays too much, so it's going to be interesting now that I am married and doing a lot of things with my husband whose family is completely like Anglo-Saxon, American, Christian, so they just do all of the traditional U.S. holiday stuff, so it's going to be really interesting for me. But anyway, I always love giving you guys like a minute intro about myself, so I know you guys probably don't give a fuck, so we are going to go ahead and dive into the actual recap for our previous episode. So where we specifically left off last time together, we actually ended our prologue, and there was a lot of emotion, a lot of interesting words were exchanged but the major thing that went down was the king of Edelheid did pass away we also had our first major group battle with Bell Selk who I imagine we're gonna see again and he ended up taking the teardrop from Cecilia who had given it to him in hopes that he would not attack any of the other villagers and would just kinda get the hell out of there but Shit still went down, and as I've already said, we lost the king, and Cecilia is now sporting a new do. She shed her locks in the hopes of embracing the future and moving forward. So let's go ahead and grant her that wish and do just that. So we only have Jack and Rudy in our party right now, as you could see, but we are going to talk to Cecilia, and as we established in the previous episode as well, we get like a little cute left corner box that indicates where she is, and I already brought us to her bedroom, so we don't have to search for her. Let's just go ahead and chat and see what she has to say, because we did get to see the funeral, which was really heartbreaking. Do you like my hair? It's a lot easier to manage. This is easier to move. I can't sit and cry forever. I'm waiting for the rainbow after the rain stops. I'll be strong again. Please, take me with you. I mean, we didn't really have a choice. And I know some people really enjoy Cecilia's new look. I was never a fan. I, It's not even about the hair, but I don't really care much for the outfit either. So anyway, let's go ahead and talk with everyone and see if maybe we can figure out where we need to be going next. I'll tidy up your room, your highness. You can return anytime you wish. Oh, well, isn't that dandy? I imagine we'll need to speak with, ah, yeah, Johan is looking for you. Where is he? Is he where our dad was? I guess we shall find out. Okay, let's see. Or he might be near the throne room. I really am interested in knowing what happened to Cecilia's mother, the queen, and why doesn't she have any siblings? And it seems so risky if you are a royal family having one child because what happens if that child dies and who who takes over the throne move the fuck out of my way and yes thank you for your prayers where is Johan is no one gonna tell me where he is there's an old guardian temple in Milama you must go through the mountain pass to get to it okay so we know where we need to go yes that was actually very helpful buddy we knights pray for your safety my princess oh thank you you're leaving again princess I mean, I have no choice. What do you guys want me to fucking do? We will protect the castle while you're gone. But I don't know where Johan is. So, I don't know if he's, like, waiting for us outside of the castle. The castle's not too big. I mean, it's pretty huge, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's huge in the sense that there are a lot of rooms, but it's not too big to navigate. So, we'll try to find him, and if he's not here, then we'll just... 
I feel like Johan's gonna have something to tell us though. Oh yeah, we wanna avoid getting sick. Was I wrong, princess? Wrong about what? What are you talking about? And I wonder if the people who we had housed here during the chaos are still chilling. Let me talk to you, be careful don't have anything really important to say and no they're not here i have no fucking clue where johan would be he's not in our bedroom he wasn't in the king's room i'll try the little meeting room oh shit oh my god sorry about this guys i probably should have explored the castle without you but i mean we'll only spend another minute or two looking and if I can't find him here, we're just gonna assume we can go. But I imagine he's gonna give us some good information or items would be even better. We await your trial. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, I'm not even talking to you guys anymore. But at least we know where we need to go next. Okay, so let's run back in here and see if Johan is waiting. What do you have to say? This is a... Ah! I figured as much. All right, here you are. Finally, the three of you. Oh my God, and are those a lot of chests lining that wall? I hate the fact that you're carrying the burden by yourselves, but our future depends on your journey. Don't worry, Father, for the glory of Edelheid and Fulgaia, I shall reclaim the teardrop. The water guardian, Stoldark, has spoken to me about the danger. If you say I am the shaman princess of the guardians, then I'm proud to be the innocent one. The princess had a vision, there is no doubt now. You must follow your destiny, princess. Go west, through the mountain pass, and you will find the town of Milama. There, you will find a large shrine. If you are the innocent one, then you must go there. I don't know anything about being a shaman, but if I can be of any help, I'll deal with whatever is expected of me. All right, guys, it looks like we've got goodies here. Money, 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 and a lucky card? Let's just go ahead and check out items as we get them. Oops. Oh my gosh. There we go. Gain double Gela and XP. I wonder if we're supposed to use that in battle? All right. Well, let's get the next chest. Another bullet clip for Rudy, more money, revive fruit, mystic apple. Lots of fucking money. Why didn't he just put all the money in one, one chest and then fill the rest of it with little trinkets? But that was nice of him to still give us some shit, so let me arrange, and as always, I will go in order, and I'm going to roll, so starting with this, because we got, I think we got the power apple first, right? Well, it doesn't matter, we're going to start with the power apple, and my number is one, so this goes to Rudy, and then rolling secondly for this, we got three, so that goes to Cecilia, that actually worked out okay. All right, guys. Not bad, not bad. Okay, so we are officially done here. Let's head over to the mountain pass. Hopefully it won't be too difficult to comb through the monsters there. I think we should be able to get through it with relative ease. And just to probably save us time, I might meet you guys there, just so you don't have to see me running and us fill this video with this kind of stuff. So I just consider this filler. So we will be right back at the gates leading outside. Okay, welcome back guys. I just realized too, I do wanna see if we can go over to where the festival was being held. We might not be able to. You can't go through here anymore. This area is dangerous. You know, I'm actually stronger than everyone else here. So they should let me, but let's see if we can find Emma if she's even still alive. We just fix whatever's broken, no big deal. I figured it'd be nice to conclude this area by talking to her. I've been totally bored lately. All my work is done by my assistants now. If you come up with something exciting, please let me know. I'll keep you company? Weird. Shall I take a look at your arm? Oh, I mean, uh, I don't know. Let's see if we can, fuck, I can't afford that. Uh, you know what? We're probably okay. Let's hold on to our money. I do want to refill it, though, but I, uh, we might be okay. You know what? I think we're all right, so let's just go ahead and leave. And we should have all the equipment that we need, so we will stock up once we get to Milama. 
But first, we do have to go through the mountain pass, which if I recall correctly, that is not it. It should be northwest. Haha, -ha. which yes, I know. Kim and Kanye's daughter. But yeah, let's just take these pill bugs out. We're gonna definitely just be blasting through everything. But yeah, I don't know, like Cecilia's new garb is just, I don't know. I think her previous design was much more flattering for her. The hair aside, you know, I just don't really care much for the outfit. Okay, so the mountain pass should be here. There was a guy previously who was like standing here. Let me go ahead and save. Can I save? I guess not. I thought you could. Maybe you can and I'm just not looking well enough. It doesn't matter that much. I was just going to do it while we were here, but... Okay, can we... Oh my god, that is not what I meant to do. Let's switch to Rudy and see if we can blow this up. I don't think so. Okay. Well, let's talk to these folks. What do you have to say? You have been granted passage. Be careful. Dangerous winds blow through the mountain pass. Please be careful. You guys must think that we are uber noobs. We fought Bell Selk and we were able to not die. So, <gasps> what the hell? I guess that's either poisonous or, or it's like on fire. I don't know what's up with those plants. It's kind of scary and fuck. We need like a lantern or something. Uh oh, can we use Rudy's bombs to light this shit on fire? <gasps> Damn. Well, hopefully we'll find a tool that will allow it. Oh, God. So scary. That should be one of the, oh my gosh, a gallo bear? That's nuts. And of course, just to preserve magic, I'm not gonna worry too much about casting spells right now. I guess we'll see, though, how much HP some of these monsters have. If they're pretty tough, I mean, there's no point to conserve mana at the expense of sustaining a large amount of damage, but it, to me it doesn't make sense to just blow all of your MP on fights that can be easily handled with physical attacks. But as I was saying, oh, what's this? The lighter, oh my god! Jack can use it to start fires. The fire can shed light or burn obstacles. That is fucking handy. Where does this take us? Because I don't want to exit this area yet. And maybe it won't take us out. Oh god. I feel like we're gonna be navigating this place for a while. But I'm hoping it won't be too crazy. And yay, Cecilia got a level, which is always welcome. Because she is so weak. Um, let me, oh, but I want the lighter. Let me just see what it does. Ooh, so let's go back and light that lantern that was here towards the entrance just because maybe it will cast a little bit of extra visibility in that area. Oh, look at Cecilia. <laughs> her dance is even funnier with her little skirt on. Oh my god. That is too funny. But yeah, I'm hoping that this will give us additional visibility. Oh, yes, it did. So that's exactly what we needed. Oh, but looking at this room, it's pretty straightforward. So that was nice that we were able to find where we needed to go in our first bout with this dungeon. And more lizard men. Didn't we see them in Edelhide? It's been a couple days since I played, so. Oh, and I need to see. I wonder if I have another crest graph. I just completely left Edelhide without even checking, and I can't remember what we have regarding our stock. But we will go ahead and go in order again. Take these douchebags out. Goodbye, lizard man. So what do you guys have planned for your holiday stuff? Are you guys going out of town? Are you having family come? So in that case, would you be hosting? As I said at kind of the beginning of this episode, I never really did holiday stuff. My family just never really got into it very much. And it could be because most of my family's not even from the state, so they just never got into things like Halloween was not something we celebrated and we never did anything for Christmas. 
So I'm really looking forward to getting the opportunity to experience this with my husband's family. And we've done it before on occasion, but we never did anything major. I don't know, but this is going to be one of the first years where... Ooh, goodbye, rocks. This is going to be one of the first years where I'm going to get to actively participate. Because in the past, I've gone to like friends' houses instead, just because I don't really like intruding on my husband's family's affairs. I remember back in high school, I would always go over to a different friend's house for every holiday. So one Thanksgiving, I'd spend it with my friend Jen, and then another holiday, maybe like Halloween, I would do it with my friend Megan. So it was always kind of a crazy year for me doing things with different people's families. But anyway, guys, we are up on time. So when we come back together in the next episode, we're going to continue exploring the mountain pass so that we can hopefully make our way to the city or town of Milama in one piece. So thank you so much for watching. I am your host, Rabbit, and this is my playthrough of Wild Arms. I'll see you in just a sec, guys.